Hi, everybody. All right, so these things coming down my eyes are tears because I'm really, really upset. So please watch this in entirety before you judge, before you come to a conclusion. I don't even have a conclusion to this yet, I don't think. But this is in regard to Beauty Bay and Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I'm really pissed off, okay? So I bought four um, of the Blue Blood palettes and I bought one of the lip sets from Beauty Bay. Okay, so I got them. So I get them in the mail and the second I open up the big outer cardboard box, I'm hit with this odor of like super glue or solvent. It was so strong. It was like I wanted to shut the box. It was disgusting. Um, so I take out the makeup and I open up the first box of Blue Blood and it has the Blue Blood writing. It's kind of modeled, modeled, which means like there are like pieces out of it, almost like when you get a t-shirt made and part of it comes off. It's like that. And I'm like, oh God, you know, so the box is dented too. So I, I take out, you know, I, I open up the box and the makeup's beautiful, but it smells, it smells really bad. The makeup reeks. It smells like counterfeit makeup. It smells like something from AliExpress. It smells real, real bad, right? Okay, so the first thing I do is I get a hold of Beauty Bay, which is in the UK, which you can't call from the United States unless you want to pay a ton of money, and I can't do that. I can't afford it. I am on Social Security. I can't do it. So I wait. I wait. And then they ask for the pictures and I'm ready with the pictures and I send them the pictures. Also, there is something weird that I wanna mention about Beauty Bay is that I think it was Christmas time or thereabouts, I got a Harry Potter themed storybook cosmetic palette from them and it was off. The jacket was gray, it was not brown. It did not have a bookmark like they always do. I wrote to them and I wanted to know why. And they were defensive and said, at no time do we ever have any problems with counterfeit makeup. And that was it. And they just didn't even, it was nothing. No, you can return this item, no nothing. So, and let me continue. Now, the thing that has to do with Jeffree Star himself is that I wrote to him on Instagram. Maybe a lot of people do. He just didn't see it, I don't know, but I wrote to him directly on Insta. I wrote to his customer service. Now I told I told them what happened. Their response was that, of course it smells like, like that because it's vegan. No, I've never had a response like that because that has nothing to do with whether it's vegan or it's not vegan. It shouldn't smell like that. But they said, we can't help you. We really don't, whatever, it's through Beauty Bay. You know, that's the response I got. And I didn't expect that. I really didn't because this affects their makeup. This is, you know, a speaker for their makeup. Like, don't they care about who's selling their makeup and how it turns out? It just kind of made me mad because the customer service at Jeffree Star was just like, oh, that's a shame. That's just too bad. I didn't expect that. I just expected like, we're going to investigate that. You know, we care about that because they're a spokesperson. They're the facade of your company. You're allowing them to sell your products. That seems to me, uh, that's like AliExpress on a good day. I just want you to know. Okay, so to continue with my story, I immediately got a hold of Beauty Bay. They asked for pictures, which I had ready. 
And then I sent the pictures and days go by a couple days and then they want more pictures and then they want pictures of the lip set, which I said was fine. Then they wanted pictures of the pans of the eyeshadow, which I said were fine. And then they wanted more pictures of the boxes and I kept trying to explain to them the issue. Um, and finally this morning they said, oh yeah, you can send it back, but you have to pay the shipping, which made me really mad because this is so heavy and it has to go all the way to the UK. Now I'm wondering how many times did they do that with people, um, that just say, fuck it. I'm just not even going to bother to send it back. Right. Because it's just so much of a hassle. Okay. Now I'm going to show you beauty bay. This was April 6th. They requested some photos. I sent them the damaged boxes and I explained how they reek of super glue, which is the main issue. Okay. How I can't use them. I can't get them. They are like useless because they smell so bad. Okay. So then um, I, I got an email back. They're really sorry that they have arrived damaged. And in this instant, they'd like to offer me a 10% refund. <laughs> they want me to keep it. Then they talked about how it can be refunded for a full refund. Then they want to know, you know, what, what I prefer without further delay. So um, then I said, this one, hi. This um, entire order is unusable, and it smells. It has to go back. Something's seriously wrong with it. I need for you to send me a label, please. This is highly defective. I would never feel close to safe using these products. Thank you. Okay. So uh, that was on the 8th. And so then... In order for me to assist you further, can you please reply to this email with an image of the items that show the pans of the palettes, right? So then I'm like, okay, but you know, that doesn't make any sense because there's nothing wrong with them. It's not the pans of the palettes. I, I explained that and I said, I don't know what's going on. Here's another recap. So I explained it again, how it smells. I don't understand what's going on and by this you know i really don't have much trust with them because of what happened to me with the storybook palettes so then they said they just want to make sure you know that yeah nothing's wrong with it sorry you know so then here's photos of the pans which they're fine there you go i finally did that this has gone on for like a week back and forth back and forth then do I want to return the lipstick bundle? And I said, nothing's wrong with that. But you know, at this point, I really just want to return the whole thing. I want to just return the entire order because I, <laughs> I'd had it with them. So then she said, please note that here's your return authorization number. You will find a printable return address label and they sent me this really weird um, label that just had their address on it. It didn't have any postage, it didn't have anything. And I got really upset. And I said, this does not appear to be a postage paid label. And she just said, uh, sorry about your luck. You sent me defective merchandise. The product reads of solvent. Something's wrong with this. Why would you penalize me for this? I told her I'd go through my bank. And that's what I'm trying to do. But it's going to make me look really ridiculous because they did it. They did accept it back. So, unfortunately, it's company policy that returns outside the UK are not free. So you will have to pay for this yourself. Due to the nature of the returns being packaging damage, and it doesn't actually affect the use of the product, this is something you would have to be responsible for with returning to us. How would you like to proceed? That. 
Now, this shit is defective, and they're trying to get out of it. This will cost me probably 50 bucks to return. It's so heavy, and it has to go all the way to the UK, and I am not paying for it, and I'm so pissed right now. Beauty Bay sucks, and I think that this is, like, I swear to God this is counterfeit. It smells so bad. I wouldn't use it. And if it is, I mean, if this is real, then I wouldn't suggest using this palette. I really wouldn't. It doesn't smell right. It doesn't smell right. It smells like somebody put a shit ton of really bad shit in it. I'm just so frustrated. I'm angry today. I'm going to have a really bad day. Well, I know that you guys can't smell these I want you to take a look at them and you tell me if these look kind of weird all right so there's some dented stuff right the corners are all fucked up like they've been sitting around a long time and I know they haven't right so dents and really these are like so flimsy why they remind me of fish and chips I mean Okay, so this stuff, like it's all, I don't know, is it supposed to be like that? Because some of these are, some of these aren't, they're like, um, you can see white on the insides of the boxes, and I think that maybe it's not supposed to be like that because there's white on the insides of the boxes, and it just, I don't know, it feels cheap, it feels like something's going on here and see like this doesn't have that so it makes me wonder is it supposed to have that is it not supposed to have that there's like stuff stuck to the boxes that is white why why i'm so confused about it i don't really understand it so upset. This is $260 worth of merchandise that they just want me to eat. Like, I, I totally don't understand it. Why is it that the writing's messed up and I'm so upset. Beauty Bay, I will never use you again. If I have to eat this money, I'm going to be so upset. And I just feel like I'm fucked. I have posted. I have done everything. I'm the quiet person. Look at that. That's so damaged. They want me to pay the shipping back. And this is going to cost like a quarter of what I even paid for this. And I don't think that's fair. See, like, I'm crying. I mean, I'm just so upset. Because this is a lot of money to me. It might not be to somebody else, but it is to me.